Yo, what is up everybody? This is Brumanati, and we're starting on a whole new series today, as requested by Hermann Fegelein. And ironically, during the Rio Olympics, we're going to be doing some 1960 Conquest with Brazil. This should be interesting. I've never played with him before, so let's hop right in there and get this done. Alright guys, I have never actually played with Brazil in any year so what I think I'm going to do is let Japan and the west coast of the U.S. fend for themselves. Since I got a long journey, um, I can't be focusing over there too. It'd take me forever. So I'm going to send, I think, a few things into Africa to take out the little bit of Russians that are there. And most of the other units I'm going to slip in through the Mediterranean. And I want to get either, say, Ankara or Istanbul. Because I'm needing heavy. Especially since my spawning points are so far away. I'm thinking that's the only way this is going to work. Well, probably not the only way, but most likely the fastest way. And let's be honest, when you're playing 1960, you're probably doing it because, you know, it is fun, but also for the resources. So you want to do it as fast as possible and get more resources. So we will see how this plays out. But first, I just remembered. Before I can get to the Mediterranean, I gotta take over Cuba. Since I'm only sending a few over into Africa, I'm going to use some of my shittier generals. I don't really want to spend my good ones, but I will spend a couple shitty ones. Kind of get the ball rolling. You know, you want a good start, but you don't want to use up your all your good shit right off the bat. I, I don't know how hard Russia will be to dislodge from Africa. I mean, basically, basically it's going to be uh, what I'm sending out of Brazil. Because the cities in Africa are shit. They spawn like the weakest infantry. And um, I guess they, they do got a couple... Two um, ranked airfields. But that's about it. I'm thinking this should be pretty easy. Knocking Cuba and Russia out of this area. Shouldn't take too long. But I'm going to have to start as we remember in 1960 the big long train that usually goes from Europe to uh, the US. I'm gonna have to start that except it won't be super heavies it'll just be heavies and I'll be coming out of Brazil all the way to like Turkey. So that right there is my African force. We will see how they do. That KV-5 will be a pain in the ass. I'll probably take significant damage just from that. See, we already got that almost knocked out. And the U.S. should be helping because most of the time uh, when I'm playing Axis in 19... or I shouldn't say Axis, I'm playing WTO in 1960... Cuba is like the first thing to drop, and it's by the U.S., so I'm expecting them to be in there helping. But you start out, I mean, the spot you start out, there's no possible way you could go and help out Japan, too. I mean, you're going to be struggling hard en enough as it is to get a foothold in Europe. Now 
You're just going to pray that the U.S. does its job. And kind of hope that Europe holds out for a while against Russia. Which usually isn't the case. But we will see. See, I don't think I would have been able to take that KV-5 without a general on there. And that was even my shitty general, and it did, like, double the damage. Yeah, there's my U.S. allies helping out near Havana. Loosen them up a little bit. I'm not going to be able to do that again and drop a paratrooper, though. What? Look at that mass of just crap right there. Damn, Russia. Bunch of KV-5s. Well, Cuba's out of there. Don't have to worry about them anymore. So now I can start my push into the Mediterranean. And of course I'll take some pop shots as I go along. Here's my super heavy spawn area. Okay, that's a relief. KV-5 in Africa is down. Oh man. That looks bad. Russia's coming in and they ain't stopping for shit. That reminds me talking about uh, Germany falling to Russia. The uh, I seen Brazil won what was it five to zero or six to zero today in soccer, and now they're gonna face Germany Saturday in the final. So that should be a good ass match because I watched the. Uh, World Cup, the last time it was around, and Germany just beat the shit out of Brazil. Alright, round 11. I'm foreseeing this being a pretty good series. Because I'm not expecting it to be easy once I get into the Mediterranean. There's probably going to be a lot of traffic and a lot of Russians. Now nah, they're pushing in on Berlin. Now Germany has three mouses there. So they should be able to hold out at least for a while. Well, you know, one good thing... Um, about playing with Brazil, you get the long journey across the ocean over with early. That is, except for if, like, Russia makes it all the way over to the U.S. and starts taking shit over. Of course, then I can hop over to Japan and, uh, throw down some air units in Alaska and start that way. So that isn't going to be that bad. It's, it's this ocean crossing, that's the pain in the ass. Now 
and I don't know, I have no idea how many heavies to make. Fuck it. See, we're already getting a little bit of congestion here at Gibraltar. Now, if that was me, that would have been a nuke. If I was Warsaw, Britain would have used a nuke on me. Alright, coming up on our next target here. But, uh, crap, we're already coming up on 12 minutes. I was just getting into this. It looked like it was about to start. Once I get in another train, this shit's gonna hit the fan. So, definitely stay tuned. Well guys, that is it for our first video on Brazil 1960 Conquest. I have a good feeling about this series. It's going to be pretty interesting because it's going to be a pain in the ass to get a foothold in Turkey or Greece, wherever I decide, whatever looks easiest. But if you like this video and videos like this, slap the shit out of the like and subscribe, and I will see you back here. Peace!